iPhone 8 Plus versus Galaxy S9 Plus speed test. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here, back again with another video helping you to master your technology, iPhone 8 Plus versus Galaxy S9 Plus speed test. Let's go ahead and begin with a boot up test in three, two, one, and see which one can get there first. Now on the left is the Apple A11 CPU with three gigabytes of RAM. On the right, we have the Snapdragon 845 with six gigabytes of RAM. The A45 is a very fast CPU. So, you know, the whole Exynos argument is not really that important this year in 2018 because the snapdragon 845 has been showing its stuff and uh, you see over here on the left that the iphone is still the faster booting device even though that samsung logo seemed to appear first the iphone 8 plus is first here on the boot up test so this next test i want to test the fingerprint since we don't have any facial recognition on the 8 plus the only biometrics we can test is the fingerprint so let's go ahead and see which one is quicker in three two one and you can see it's the Galaxy S9 Plus. Once again, three, two, one. And that fingerprint sensor on the S9 Plus is just much faster than that one on the 8 Plus, as you can see right there. I mean, there's just no comparison. Every time, the S9 will go into the phone faster with its fingerprint sensor. And once you get used to it, it's in a pretty good location. So Samsung has outdone Apple here when it comes to their fingerprint speed. Quickly confirming softwares, the iPhone is running iOS 11.3. The software is up to date on the 8 Plus. And over here on the right, we are running Android 8.0 Oreo with Samsung Experience version 9.0 slapped on top, just to quickly confirm. Okay, so we have arrived at the application portion of this speed test. Keep in mind that the iPhone 8 Plus right now is at 47%. And over here on the Galaxy S9 Plus, 69% percent let's keep that in mind just to kind of see where the battery life is at, at the end of this video all applications are closed out on the right all applications are closed out on the left let's begin with twitter so going into twitter you can see that is the galaxy s9 plus on the right coming home let's go into whatsapp and you can see that's the galaxy s9 plus on the right coming home let's go into snapchat and that's the s9 plus on the right coming home let's go into instagram and you could see that is the right right there. You see the loading time was done. Let's go and flip through some menus in Instagram just to see, you know, which one does a little bit better. And it looks like the iPhone 8 Plus looks pretty good when it's actually in the Instagram. So the load times might be a little bit better on the S9 Plus, but maybe the fluidity in the apps are better on the iPhone. Let's go into LinkedIn. And you can see LinkedIn is first there on the right. Let's go into Viber. And you can see Viber is first on the right and then the iPhone 8 Plus. Let's go into Pinterest and Pinterest on the right and then on the left. So a lot of wins here to the S9 Plus. Let's go into Tumblr and Tumblr is on the right and then on the left. That's a pretty easy win for the Galaxy S9 Plus. Let's go into B&H and B&H is first on the right and then on the left. Let's come home. Let's go into Offer Up and this one should be a win on the left there and now it's loading here on the right loading loading and there it goes so a good win there for the apple iphone 8 plus let's go into best buy see which one can win here and that is the right over the left so galaxy s9 plus for the win here let's go into amazon and amazon does load first on the right over the iphone 8 plus coming home let's go into netflix and you can see we are now into Netflix on the left first. So let's flip through some menus here in Netflix. You can see very smooth. So the S9 Plus kind of has this, you know, fast feel to it, but the iPhone 8 Plus has got this more fluid feel to it. So you really got to decide what you like. Personally, I like the speed, so I kind of like the fast feel of the S9 Plus, but the fluid feel is nice when you're just kicking back and you just want to go in some apps and you just want to enjoy those animations. That's where the 8 Plus shines. Let's go into MC5 and you can see mc5 is open here on the left first and here comes the right and it looks like the s9 plus might be ahead but which one's gonna win it oh that was the iphone 8 plus slightly so going into the game which one actually gets into the game first and you can see it's the iphone 8 plus but only barely so both of these are going to be great gaming experiences the S9 Plus, you have to turn the graphics up to get it to the level of the iPhone in settings. But the S9 Plus also has a more immersive screen. So, but you do get bezels on a trade off for the iPhone 8 Plus. So keep that in mind on gaming. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. And you can see Jetpack Joyride 
looks to be first on the right over the iPhone 8 Plus. Let's come home. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2. Now, I think this one should go to the iPhone 8 Plus. Yes, it does. Let's hit play and see which one can actually get into this game first. And looks like it's the left with the iPhone 8 Plus. So the iPhone's still shining when it comes to that game life. So if you're in a gaming on mobile, you're going to get your apps first. They're more polished and they're faster on the iPhone 8 Plus. So keep that in mind if you are buying one of these for gaming. Let's go into Geekbench. And you can see Geekbench looked first on the right, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's go into Speed Test. And you can see that's on the right for the Galaxy S9 Plus. Let's go into Adobe Clip and that is the s9 plus so that's basically it it looks like the s9 plus has a slight jump on the first try opening but can it beat the iphone 8 plus when it goes to the multitasking let's go in adobe clip again missed that one let's go in adobe clip again and you can see about the same let's go into speed test and we're looking for reloads here it looks like the s9 plus ahead again let's go into geekbench and a slightly faster to the s9 plus let's go into dead trigger and about the same there on that one. So I call that one a tie. What about Jetpack Joyride? That's the iPhone 8 Plus. Let's go into MC5. That's the iPhone. Wait, nope. That's the Galaxy S9 Plus. So I thought it was the iPhone, but maybe. Nope, the iPhone came back. So they were trading blows there on that one. So that one's pretty even. Let's go into Netflix. And you could see about the same. Let's go into Amazon. And that one's the S9 Plus Best Buy. And that's the S9 Plus. Let's go into Offer Up. That is the iPhone 8 Plus. Let's go into B&H. That's the iPhone 8 Plus. Let's go into Tumblr. That is the right. Let's go into Pinterest. That is the right again. Let's go into Viber. That's the left. Let's go into LinkedIn. And that is the right. Maybe let's go into Instagram. And that looks like it is going to be the right. maybe let's go into snapchat that looks like the left let's go into whatsapp that looks like the right let's go into twitter and that might have been the left so you can see that both of these phones are super quick when it comes to the multitasking i didn't see too much of a difference here i would say that the six gigs of ram really does help out the s9 plus quite a bit whereas the iphone 8 plus with three gigs of ram runs very good even though it doesn't have that major six gigs of RAM of these newer phones like the S9 Plus. Okay, so I did run a video test on both of these prior to the video, but I did not render it. So I did the same video clip. We're gonna go ahead and render it here in Adobe Clip and you could see there's the left. Both are 45 second clips at 1080p. I'm gonna go ahead and save the camera roll and uh, let's go ahead and save the camera roll here on the gallery. Save the gallery at 1080p and let's hit continue and go. And you can see that the iPhone 8 Plus is smoking fast when it comes to this video rendering stuff. I found this to be the case in other apps as well, not just the Adobe Clip app. So when it comes to video rendering, that's where the A11 CPU does shine. I know I'm going to hear it again. The Exynos CPU on the Galaxy S9 is way better in rendering. And I do agree. So if you do want to do the rendering you know, video a lot, you definitely want to take a look at the Exynos model of the S9 Plus. But that's really its only strong suit over the 845 and then on top of that i don't usually find exynos devices in my opinion to have better gaming performance than the snapdragon series so you got to take that into account as well but we're still waiting here on the s9 plus we're not even going to wait it's just going to take too long so the iphone 8 plus is a faster video rendering machine let's go ahead and run a quick geekbench i'll be back when the cpu benchmarks are done okay so the final geekbench scores are in you could see 4171 on the single 2383 on the single for the s9 plus 9583 on the multi 8077 on the multi on the right so this score is a little bit low for the iphone 8 plus it's usually over 10 but the single core is right where it should be you can see it's benching higher than the s9 plus as expected let's go ahead and run a quick speed test when it comes to the wi-fi to see if that newer wi-fi performance that is included in the s9 plus is actually that much faster than the iphone 8 plus so right now i got some pretty slow wi-fi it's going to pick up later in the day but right now a lot of people are using it but you can see 14 megabytes we're getting around 17 here let's see if we can do a little bit better when this is finished on the right you know we're going to finish at 2222 so on the upload we're looking about 12 down or 12 up here so 11.99 11.77 and 11.8 and we should be up in just a second here 
and we're gonna finish around 12 for the iPhone 8 Plus. Let's do the same test and see if we can pull in just a little bit better speeds here on the right for the Galaxy S9 Plus. We're around 40, so yes, it is showing that it is a better downloading machine here. I mean, look at this, like twice as much. So the Galaxy S9 Plus does support the maximum carrier settings when it comes to the, you know, pulling in the best speeds you can. So this is some great stuff for the Galaxy S9 Plus if you want some massively fast download speed so keep that in mind that's a huge difference there not so much on the upload but definitely on the download and one last thing i want to check is the camera speed i always like to see which one is a little bit quicker so let's hit camera and you can see the iphone 8 plus what about snapping a photo looks a slightly faster on the 8 plus so the camera speed a little bit better for the 8 plus taking a look at their battery life remember i said 47 percent it went down six percent throughout this speed test and you can see over here it went from i think it was 68 to 65 so the s9 plus did a little bit better when it comes to draining battery on this test anyway that's going to wrap it up here iphone 8 plus versus galaxy s9 plus to me the winner here is probably the galaxy s9 plus when it comes to just everyday speed but when it comes to video rendering of course it's the iphone again gaming performance a little bit better on the iphone battery life better on the galaxy s9 plus but if you want to see a full comparison i already did that video i'll drop it down below i thank you very much for watching 200,000 subscribers is coming soon we have a giveaway i appreciate all of you taking even 10 minutes out of your day to watch nick ackerman channel i'll catch you on the next episode be sure to be well and peace